Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, if that's your thing. Sports! Our, well, my home team, Philadelphia Eagles, happened to make it to the Super Bowl. Now, I'm not a bandwagon jumper. I have not watched one fucking NFL game all season. So, am I going to start today? Fuck no. So, I'm going to be that guy that's sitting upstairs, being obnoxious and listening to their music way too fucking loud because I don't watch sports. If you want to watch the game, be my guest. It's fun, whatever, if that's your thing. I can't stand football. I can watch an NCAA game, but when it comes to the NFL... It's too many rules and just bullshit. I'm, I'm not a fan. And uh, no offense to all you Phillies fans out there. Just Phillies fans. Eagles fans. But just Philadelphia fans in general. You know that our city, we're notorious choke artists when it comes to championship games. But, you know, best wishes go out to the Eagles. I mean, if they win... Philly fucking riots and looks like assholes on national television. So I apologize for my city ahead of time in case we do win tonight because you'll be seeing us on your local news tomorrow acting like complete maniacs. But to me it's another like one of those amateur drinking days like New Year's Eve where it's seriously dangerous outside and sketchy like when you're on your bike, you really have to be careful, or even driving your car. Just be cautious of everyone around you that they might be fucking loaded, and it's not even 3 o'clock, because the game starts at 6, I think. But, anyways, let's get to today's episode, which is going to be called Super Bold. Chanel's Super Bowl Playlist. Okay, stupid name, but it's off the top of my head, so deal with it. But we're going to be blasting some disastrous murmur. Raspity's in red. Just, oh my god, so fucking good. I, I love this record. The 8-track recording, it's just, oh my god, it has such charm to it. Along with the keyboard passages that just help add that sci-fi element. And this amazing, amazing just artwork that screams 1992 like this xenomorphic style alien just devouring this human's brains it's fucking sick awesome artwork disastrous murmur are fucking amazing and i can't recommend them enough i would also blast this as well during your own playlist but that's just a recommendation but i'm going to be going over what i'm going to be playing today and this is just some recommendations, so, yeah. Disastrous Murmur, though, Raspides in Red, amazing old-school death metal. But, um, first things first, I am a huge, huge fan of Sludge, especially I Hate God and Grief. But, um, I went to a Pig's Blood show last year, and a band I had heard about, but had never actually listened to, was playing No Funeral. Now, I had heard the livid side of their split, so I was very interested when I saw that No Funeral was headlining over Pig's Blood. And uh, they actually played some of this new material off this new EP, Mankind is Carrying Fit for Nothing, with two new songs and a cover of My War by Black Flag. Holy fuck is this good. Thank you, Kevin, and No Funeral for hooking this tape up because I know it's sold out through Live Fast Die Records. Again, how amazing is that? It even has the NF for No Funeral on the tombstone. I, I, I love it. DIY or die. Mankind is carrying. Fit for nothing. And you have all three tracks on both sides here. And this is just total misanthropic, hate-filled, sludge done so goddamn good the fucking samples on here too oh my god they are so good 
oh, I, I just, I instantly fell in love with this band, seeing them live, and then knowing that I had their split with No Funeral, I meant their split with Livid, to go home to, I was so excited, and uh, I kept in contact with Kevin, and he hooked this up, and said, uh, you know, they're doing a 7 inch and stuff, it's gonna have some of this material, and I can't fucking wait. Because mankind is carrying fit for nothing. This is total nihilism in sonic form. Look at that fucking just gorgeous. I, I love this like design. Even in black and white, it looks sick. But you know, going green and matching the tape and stuff. I think that just looks so goddamn cool. I don't know what this was limited to. It might have been like 50, but. I would blast this on Bandcamp even. Seriously, this is some of the most hate-filled music on a, like, kind of self-hating and just an all-around hatred of mankind level. I mean, read the title of the cassette. Mankind is carrying fit for nothing. Like, fuck yeah. And you have carrying and, uh... Hyper Amnesia, along with My War by, originally by Black Flag, but holy shit, it gets the sludge treatment by No Funeral, and sounds amazing. And while we're on the topic of cassettes, Vermin Womb, Decline, oh my god, come on. If you have this on vinyl, CD, cassette, anything, Fucking blast this today, just in honor of how much you fucking love extreme music, because it doesn't get much better than this. Seriously, I am obsessed with Cancer, the track. It features Eli from Spectral Voice. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I do not have enough good things to say about Vermin Womb Decline, except for... Just blast this motherfucker and let everyone know that you hate mankind. But it's another great record. Pig Destroyer, Prower in the Yard. Oh my god, from the creepy audio tuned intro of Jennifer. You know, the Jennifer wrestled her friend playfully to the ground in front of the snow cone stand. And oh my god, in the cheerleader corpses and into a complete grindcore power violence mixed with Slayer and Pantera assault. This is so fucking good. Grindcore with grooves? Like, what? Yes. Like, seriously, this is so fucking good. This is a Pig Destroyer to me at their best and also most, like, just grindy and pissed off sounding, like, JR sounds like he wants to just destroy the world and stuff and find the hidden penis and win nothing. But <laughs> yeah, Pig Destroyer Per Hour in the Yard is a great, great album to play just on one of those days where you just don't feel like dealing with the rest of society. And next up is if you feel like getting a little toasted today. Or maybe creeping some brews or, or whatever, but not watching the game. Highly suggest some Reverend Bazaar in your life. And uh, this is uh, in the rectory of the Bazaar Reverend. Oh my god. Some of the best doom to ever come out of Finland. Absolutely crushing, crushing material here. Loads of power. Like, oh my god. This is such a killer release. Doom what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Do I really need to say any more? If you're a fan of traditional doom, and you love your doom metal heavy as fuck, and also just, you know, old school, you need to get into Reverend Bazaar. So fucking good. I, I love this band. I love this album. and cannot recommend it enough. Next up, just a classic, and uh, some people might come up and join your listening party. That's King Diamond Them. As soon as they hear the Grandma, welcome home, 
They might recognize it from Clerks too. And hey, come out and hang out with you. You know, wouldn't that be pretty cool? But this is a great album. Like the story's great. King Diamond's vocals are great. Andy LaRoche's guitar playing is just fucking up. Oh my god, it's so good. The riffs on here are amazing. This is one of King Diamond's best records, one of his best concepts as well. Them is just an amazing album. Every track on here, it has its place, and it sounds fucking good. It sounds even better on vinyl, but again, if you have it on any format, just blast this fucker. Especially Welcome Home, just so the people that know, know that you're blasting some King Diamond. And... If they have any taste in music at all, they'll be upstairs in no time to come party with you. Next up, I feel like this is uh, kind of an essential if you have it, and I'm glad I finally do. Celtic Frost to Mega Theron. Oh my god. I love this album death. I mean, I could talk about this for fucking weeks and weeks and weeks, but just every song on here again, amazing, 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 amazing. Like, it doesn't get much better than, you know, fucking The Usurper, like Jewel Throne, Circle of the Tyrants, Beyond the Northern Winds, like, oh my god, what a classic fucking album from 1985. Celtic Frost will run and just totally decimate whatever Super Bowl party is in the near vicinity. Hell yeah. I love Celtic Frost so fucking much. And next up is a personal favorite and just a great album to listen to. Regardless of if you're by yourself, partying, or just in the mood for some killer old school death metal from the Sunshine State. And that is Death Leprosy. Thank you Jason Andrews for this picture disc. Which actually sounds fucking amazing. I don't know why people bitch about picture discs. This one in particular sounds fucking great. It's kind of poppy in the beginning, but that's it. Like when you turn it on, it gets all, it's like makes a couple crackle noises. And then it plays perfectly fucking fine. So, pull the plug! I mean, yeah, it would be nice to have liner notes and all that cool stuff, but I think it's awesome to just have, you know, the leper being like, Help me! I don't know. This is so fucking good, though. Florida death metal. What can I say about death leprosy? Come on. This is essential shit here, and... Definitely worth listening to, regardless of what day of the week it is or fucking anything special. It's just a great album. Same thing with this next record. Autopsy, Severed Survival. I love smoking blunts to this album. So, another great non-Super Bowl party party album. Like, especially like Charred Remains, Impending Dread. Oh my god, Service for a Vacant Coffin, Disembowel, every track on here is golden. Autopsy is great. This is the first band that I ever knew smoked weed and played death metal. Seriously, I had no idea that that was possible. I thought weed was for, you know, like, chilling out. I didn't know that it was an idea maker and helped make two of the best death metal records ever. Mental Funeral and Severed Survival, both totally worth listening to any day of the week. Doesn't matter. Next up, and finally, this is the last one I'm going to show, Anatomia's Cranial Obsession. This album is just so fucking good and also so insane sounding. Like, especially the CND side of things. Holy fuck. Creepy, eerie slow dismal death metal and that's what they were going for and that's what you fucking get out of anatomia doom ridden death metal done right so if you're not watching a super bowl game i suggest putting your playlist below 
and let me know what you're listening to. Thanks for watching. Hails.